like a 747, it goes right over their heads and they don't even know it. Most Christians do not know what this comment is all about, but I do. Romans 11.26 is a good one, but in this video, let's talk about Galatians 3.16. In Galatians 3.16, Paul talks about Abraham. So, let's go back to Genesis. Genesis 15, verse 5. And he, that is God, brought him, that's Abraham, forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said to him, so shall thy seed be. The word seed here is talking about a great number of descendants. So much is like the stars. The word seed here in the original Hebrew is zera. It can mean one person or it could mean millions or billions as it does in the passage we just read, Genesis 15:5. It's very much like the word sheep in the English language. It can mean one or it can mean millions. The plural of sheep is sheep. There's no such thing as the word sheeps. And anybody who uses the word sheeps, you gotta question their English. In the same way, the word seed can mean one or it can mean millions. The Hebrew scriptures never, ever uses the word seeds when talking about many descendants. Always uses the word seed because the word seed is a collective plural. Just like in English, you never, ever use the word sheeps. It's just improper. You just don't do it. Now that you know a little bit of Hebrew and how the Hebrew scriptures uses the word seed, let's read what Paul says in Galatians 3.16. Paul said, Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not, And to seeds, as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. Like, really, Paul? Really? You've got to be kidding me, man. The only way he can get away with this is people who don't know their Hebrew and who don't know the Torah. That's like, well, Mary said she's got a lot of sheep. She didn't say sheeps. That means it's only one sheep. This field has a lot of mice in it. Notice I didn't say mices. That means only one mice. It's either Paul doesn't know Hebrew, or he doesn't know his Torah very well, or he's doing something very shady with his theology.